We have a showdown here between the Jabra Evolve 75 and the new Poly Voyager Focus 2. Of course, we're gonna plug these in and give you a live microphone test and we're gonna test it against a blender to see how much noise that these headsets cancel, so stay tuned for that. We are going to provide a rating out of nine categories for both of these products and give it a headset advisor score to kind of help guide you along this review journey. So stay tuned for that. Hey everyone, I'm David here with Headset Advisor and this is the channel where we review all of the latest business technology such as your headsets, speaker phones, and webcam. So consider hitting that subscribe button. All right, let's take a quick look at the design of the Jabra Evolve 75. It has a black color and then a red kind of accent color, as you see here on the, the leather cushions. Overall, I really like the design, but I feel like the black and red is kind of starting to get a little bit dated, where the Poly Voyager Focus 2 has more of a metal kind of finish, so it makes it seem a little bit more modern and up to date. Now the Jabra has this magnet, so you can put this microphone boom and secure it to the top of the headband, which I like, but it does uh, have a little bit of a gimmicky feel because when you kind of rotate the headset, it does have a tendency to kind of uh, pop off, right, like that. So, you know, it's um, a little bit gimmicky there. And then the microphone boom only goes down on one side it doesn't go to the other side so you can only wear it on your right ear so what i do like though about jabra is that it has a busy light you see the circle led it has that on both sides of your head so if you look at somebody wearing this headset you can tell whether they're on a call easily with that red busy light indicator which is convenient and then looking at the buttons here you have your volume decrease increase you also have your answer and end there on the side of the headset. You have your mute button. You also have your micro USB port at the bottom of the headset. And then you have your power and pairing button. And then you have your ANC button here. And uh, what that is, it's just either on or off. There's no adjusting the level of ANC. And what that does is allows you to block out a lot of the ambient noise around you. So that's just what is going on in your environment as far as what you hear. So if you really wanna focus in on your work, turn on some music, put on that ANC feature, and you really can zone in on your work or your calls or whatever you're doing with the headset. Now let's take a look at the Poly here. So this is the Voyager Focus 2. It's brand new, just came on the market last month and that has this microphone boom that clicks into place and can go both directions. And what I'm talking about as far as the design of the metal, it has this metal band at the top. It just seems um, just more modern and it has a really nice finish to it. So on the Jabra, we give this an eight as far as design rating, and we give the Poly uh, a 10 rating just for, you know, the sleek black colors, the metal kind of finish. The fit and finish just feels phenomenal on this new uh, Poly Voyager Focus 2. And it can, uh, the headband can actually switch into position very easily. It clicks. Not sure you can hear that, but it just clicks into each position. So it securely goes into each position. And then everything just feels solid, well-built. You have your buttons all located here. Decrease volume, increase volume, answer and end calls. You have a couple of adjustments for A and C. So you can turn it off, you can turn it to one, or you can turn it to two and adjust the level of A and C. Then you have micro USB port, and then you have your on or pairing button here at the bottom, and then you have your mute button on the side of the microphone boom here. All right, and we're gonna be testing both of these noise canceling microphones here in just a minute, so just make sure to stay tuned for that. All right, now talking about comfort. So they're both extremely comfortable, and let's put them on really quick. It just, for a headset that weighs about six ounces, both of them are uh, about six ounces in weight. They're both very, very comfortable. And like I said, on the design of the Jabra, you have this little bump out 
feature right here. So it helps to remove the pressure on your ears, which causes headaches on other, you know, brands and models of headsets. So it feels extremely comfortable. So they both are getting a level 10 rating, 10 out of 10 on comfort because they're both just really comfortable headsets, especially for what they do. There's some other headsets that are about 10, 11 ounces when you start getting to the bigger, um, you know, bows or the ones more made for music. So let's put on the poly here real quick. So this is what it looks like when you wear it. Overall, it's extremely comfortable. What I like about the poly is that you don't feel the weight of the metal headband here on the top of your head that has this, it's kind of like flexible. It's a little stretchy band that holds this leather cushion at the top. So you don't feel the weight of the top of the headband. So it feels lightweight on the top of your head and then it just feels really, really comfortable. So they both get a 10 rating on comfort level because you're gonna be able to wear these all day long. Now, ease of use, these are both Bluetooth headsets. Jabra utilizes Bluetooth 4.2. Poly utilizes Bluetooth 5.1. And they have USB dongles that you plug into the computer. This is a must for a UC headset so that you get compatibility with Ring Central, Zoom, uh, Microsoft Teams, any of the software that you use for business communications is going to be used through that USB dongle that these are included with. Now, they also pair up to your mobile phones for Bluetooth um, to your mobile phone, or if you have a tablet. It can work on Bluetooth computers, but I don't recommend that. Make sure to use that USB dongle so that it gets the best quality, you get the best audio quality, best range, and then that optimization for your software. So make sure that you use that. So in, uh, in regards to ease of use, um, they're both extremely easy to use. Um, that's easy for me to say because I deal with headsets all day long, but right out of the box, you plug in the USB, turn on the headset, they're prepared. It will automatically work. Now it gets a little bit complicated for two areas on both of these headsets. Number one is you may need to download software. Um, you got the Poly Hub and then you got the Jabra Direct software for Jabra in order to get advanced functionality such as the remote answering that I was talking. But it's just a simple download and then you have an ease of access to all of your settings that you can adjust on these headsets. You can change you know, whether or not it mutes when you put the, the headset up like this, which both of them do, just so you know. And you can also change your wireless range mode for long range or short range. And you would change uh, it to short range if you have a lot of headsets around you and you want the most functionality possible. So anyways, I can go deep into that topic, but we will hold it tight for this video. So. Uh, again, both of them are rated at nine for ease of use. They're very easy to use. Now, one feature I wanted to mention for both of these is you can actually plug them in and use them as wired headsets. So not all wireless headsets, you can actually do that. So simply pl plug in a USB, micro USB cable into your computer and they can be a fully functioning wired headset. So if your battery runs out, bam, you got a backup option, which is always good when you're considering um, you know, a wireless headset, because that does happen and I, it happens to me all the time. I forgot to put my headset on the charging cradle or plugged in, now it's dead. Now what do you do? Do you miss your meeting? With both of these, boom, plug in that micro USB, plug it into the computer, you're good to go. All right, now let's talk about battery life. Now, both of these are very comparable. You have 19 hours on the Poly, versus 18 hours on the Evolve 75. And that's with both of them with the ANC feature off and also the busy light off. So you have 40 hours of listening time on the Poly versus 17 hours of listening time on the Jabra. Ultimately, it's gonna last you a full working day. If you're somebody that's traveling, you take the headset with you on the go. As long as you're turning it on and off, it's gonna last probably your entire trip without having to you know, recharge the headset. Unless you're an extremely heavy user, then of course, after a day or two, you're gonna probably need to charge it. 
So I'm really impressed with the battery life on both these headsets as it's um, kind of up there in the class, especially since you have that ANC feature. So battery for Poly is the better one as it has a little bit more battery life. So it's getting a 10 and then Jabra gets a rating of nine. Now regarding price, these are priced both about the same. The Jabra is $293, but there's even a bigger discount if you use coupon code Jabra as I can't tell you exactly the discount on this video, but make sure you use coupon code Jabra for our Jabra products. That's gonna score you the best deal. I'll put the link in the video description below. Same with Poly, you got a price of $299.99. And then make sure you use coupon code YouTube, all one word, YouTube, and that's gonna score you the best discount as well on this product. Now, overall, the pricing is just under $300 for these headsets. You could obviously find a wireless headset for less than that, but both of these headsets have the active noise canceling feature and a lot of other, you know, comfort and compatibility with your Ring Central, Microsoft Teams, you know, Zoom, all of that, these headsets are compatible with. And if you think about it, if you can make your employees even 1% more effective and productive, it's going to pay for itself within a year or two. So in my opinion, if noise is of concern, these are uh, relatively well-priced headsets and definitely worth considering. And we're gonna test the microphone here in just a second so you can see how well these noise-canceling microphones um, sound so that you can see what kind of performance these headsets have. And if you think about talking to a customer on the other end of a line and you are using a built-in microphone on your laptop versus a headset, you're gonna have a lot more efficient conversation. So you're really gonna be able to have your voice be heard clearly and not all the distracting noises around you. All right, let's get into the tests here. Let's test out the speakers so that you can hear what these headsets sound like and compare them. So both of them get a price rating of eight. All right, so we are going to test the speakers on both of these headsets. We have this microphone boom in front of me here. We're gonna put the headset speakers over the microphone and then go back to back so that you can hear exactly how these headsets compare. And then also I'm going to do uh, wired. So I'm gonna plug them in via wired and then switch it quickly to the wired so you can hear what they sound like as far as the speakers. Is there any quality difference on wired on both of these models? So let's get into it. All right, we're gonna test the speaker on this Jabria Evolve 75. It's gonna be on max volume. And just so you know, for all of our tests, we update every single product, all the software, all the headsets, so that it's a most accurate test as of this video date. All right, so what we're gonna do is put the speakers over this microphone so you can hear for yourself how good or not good this headset sounds. And then you can also see how loud this headset gets in this room. So go ahead and play the music. All right, so what did you think of the speaker quality? Now, it was hard for me to distinguish the, the quality difference between the two. I had to listen back and forth quite a few times between them in order to, to formulate a, a true opinion, but I found that the Poly was just slightly better, more enjoyable for me as far as audio goes. Uh, crisper, uh, like highs, 
uh, like talking, you hear it more clearly. And then I had, I think, a slight bit more of bass. And then looking back at the decibel reading, it was about the same volume. Of course, both these headsets were better when you plug it in via a wired headset. It gets more audio quality, gets a little more volume. So you get the best performance when you're wired, but the wireless is completely acceptable and still really, really good and nice, which of course, if you have a wireless headset, you wanna stay wireless. That's uh, my preference at least. So. Let's see, the Jabra gets a rating of nine and the Poly gets a rating of 10 for their speakers. Okay, now we're gonna take a wireless range of the Jabra Evolve 75. Jeff, grab the camera and let's go. All right, so the computer is located just right here. You can get that in the shot. Just right here, it's about 10 feet away. Computer right on the other side. We're gonna head out this way. All right, this is about 20 feet right now. And I just started hearing a little bit of audio clipping. Let's see if we can make it to the 30 foot mark. All right, so now this is about 30 feet, and this was actually a good test because there's an ambulance right behind me, so you'll see if this microphone can actually cancel out that background noise. All right, now keep going. All right. It's cutting out a lot right now, so we'll see if the microphone picks up in a second here. Let's keep going, see if we can make it much further. It is completely unusable at this point, so it's more about 30 to 40 feet of wireless range. All right, we're gonna test the wireless range here on the Poly Voyager Focus 2. So I have some music playing in my headset, so I know when the audio is gonna start cutting out. So Jeff, grab the camera, follow me out the door here. You get to see a sneak peek behind the scenes of the studio here, and of course in the office. All right, so let's head out this way. All right, so the computer's just right over here, about 10 feet away, so let's keep on going. We're at about 20 feet, let's keep it going. Now we're at about 30 feet, and I'm still hearing the music loud and clear. Let's keep going. It's a bit of a windy day today, so this is about 40 feet. Keep coming. All right, we're about 50 feet, direct line of sight to the computer. I'm still hearing the music loud and clear, so let's keep going. All right, so the music is now starting to cut out. So we have reached the max range, which is about 60 feet direct line of sight to the computer. All right, in regards to the wireless range, Jabra, of course, did not beat the, the Poly. The Poly was able to outperform the Jabra. So Jabra got a five rating on wireless range, and then Poly got seven. Now, Bluetooth in general just does not typically give you very much range. That's my biggest knock on Bluetooth headsets. But the benefit of Bluetooth is that you can pair them up to your mobile phone, so there's a lot of versatility with it. So I was surprised with the Poly that it was actually able to go that extra distance because typically all Bluetooth headsets are going to give you maybe that 30 feet of wireless range. And in my house, uh, my coffee pot is right at the, so the Job Revolve 75 cuts out before I can make it to my coffee pot, which is always a disappointment for me because if I'm in a meeting, now I have to decide, do I wanna set it down for a second, go make my cup of coffee and come back? Where on the Poly, I can actually go to the coffee pot, have my meeting and not worry about, you know, putting it down or anything like that. It's not gonna cut out. So it's almost double the amount of length 
um, maybe 50% more than the Jabra's. All right, we're gonna test the microphones on both these headsets, but before we do that, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and consider hitting that subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos like this one. All right, so how this is gonna work is we are going to test both these headsets back to back and we're gonna do it without any background noise. Then we're gonna do it with office type noises and then we're gonna bump it up to the blender test and also do it outside so you can hear how it sounds if you're like on the go. So let's get started right now. All right, now we're testing the Jabra without any background noise. This is what the microphone sounds like and I'll switch the camera mic so you can get an idea of what that sounds like. And then we are gonna go right back here to the Jabra. So what you're looking for is just clear, consistent audio. You don't want any chopping, clipping, and of course you want uh, the voice to sound great. So my voice should be sounding fantastic right now. So what we're gonna do next is test out the noise canceling on these microphones so you can get an idea of how well the noise canceling feature works on this headset. All right, so my voice is coming through the camera microphone right now, just so you can get an idea of what it sounds like without the headset. Now it's gonna to switch to the headset here. So this is what it sounds like on the Poly Voyager Focus 2 with no background noise going on, just the microphone alone. So this is what it's gonna sound like. You really wanna look for is clear audio. You don't wanna hear any chopping, any buzzing, anything like that. Sometimes with Bluetooth headsets, you get a little bit of um, you know, choppy or clipping type sound. So you just want a reliable, consistent, good sounding audio. All right, so this is how loud it is to have the camera mic going, be quiet, like 75 decibels in here. Now we're on the Jabra Evolve 75 with that same ambient noise going on, and I'll be quiet. Still 75 here. See if you can pick up any of that noise going on in the background. That's maybe two feet away from me. So I want to keep talking here just so you can get an idea of how well it's performing. There's phone calls, talking, writing typing, that type of stuff going on in the background. All right, now this is the Poly Voyager Focus 2 with office ambient noise. We're gonna switch to the camera microphone so you can hear what it sounds like without any noise cancellation. Now we're gonna go back to the Voyager Focus 2 here. And it's with the same noise going on in the background and I'll be quiet so you can see how much decibels is out here. All right, so it's about 72 to 75 decibels with that office type noises. You have talking, uh, typing, that type of thing in the background. So we'll see how well this microphone performs. All right, now we have the blender going to the camera mic. Now my voice is coming through the Jabra of all 75. And I'll be quiet here so you can see the decibel reading. All right, it's almost about 80 decibels in this room. That's about two feet away from me with the blender on in the background. So testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. You wanna be able to hear my voice loud and clear and not any distortion or even that blender on in the background. This is obviously a very extreme example. This is not typical. You shouldn't be having your business phone calls while blending up your favorite margarita, but you never know. Hey, if you're working from home, maybe that's you. So this gives you a good idea of what this sounds like. All right, now this is what it sounds like with the blender on in the background, and I'll switch the camera mic, and then we'll switch back to the Poly Voyager Focus 2 here. This is what it sounds like, and I'll be quiet so you can see the decibel reading. So it's about 80 decibels right here next to me, about two feet away from me. This is how much noise the Poly Voyager Focus 2 cancels. All right, now this is the Jabra Evolve 75 with a wired connection. And you, what you wanna look for is, is there any big quality difference between wireless and wired? I typically find that wired produces about 10 to 20% better uh, voice clarity and also speaker volume. On the speaker test, there was two extra decibels of speaker volume. So obviously you're getting more, a little bit louder sound and you're gonna probably sound a little bit better as far as crisp and clear. So this is what it sounds like on the wired connection. All right, now this is the Poly Voyager Focus 2. When you hooked up to a wired connection, typically you get a little bit better audio quality. So this will be able to tell if the voice quality is much different than on the wireless. And this is with no background noise. 
All right, we're outside with the Jabra Evolve 75 here, and we're outside our building, and there's cars driving behind us, and it's a little bit of a windy day, and there's also cars down the road there. So this is what you can expect um, the Jabra Evolve 75 to sound like if you're somebody that travels on the go, you're going from job sites, maybe uh, you're a real estate agent or something like that, and you need to take the headset outside, in the car, that type of thing. This is what you can expect the headset to sound like. All right, we're outside here with the Poly Voyager Focus 2. This is what it's gonna sound like if you're somebody that's on the go, traveling, that type of thing. We have cars behind us, it's a little bit windy. Um, there's also cars going on down the road there. So this is what you can expect the Poly Voyager Focus 2 to sound like. You should be able to hear my voice clearly without a bunch of um, you know, wind noise and car noise, that type of thing, as you want to be able to hear my voice loud and clear and try to sound as professional as possible. All right, so what did you think of the overall microphone performance between both of these models? Put your thoughts in the comment section below. Would love to hear what you think about. Now, overall, I gave the Poly a 7 rating and the Jabra a 6.5, just slightly lower. What I found is that the Jabra did not cancel out as much noise as the Poly. But on the flip side of that, um, the Jabra sounded like you could hear the blender, for example, in the background uh, clearly, but it was in the background. So it was a good differentiator between the voice. So it didn't uh, like clip your voice at all, where the Poly canceled out more of the blender, in my opinion, but it also canceled out a little bit of the voice too. So. There's kind of a, a scale with that. And then in regards to the uh, quality of microphone, obviously with any wireless headset, you're not gonna get you know condenser level microphone quality like a, a podcaster would use, but the quality is getting better and better. And uh, I like the sound quality out of both of these headsets and especially it isolates your voice right next to your mouth. So it sounds um, fantastic there. So I gave the edge a little bit between noise cancellation and um, definitely the the quality of voice coming through the Voyager Focus 2 to the Poly. But I gave it a 0.5 difference, which basically means they're about the same quality performance from my perspective. All right, now durability. I'm known in the office for breaking headsets as we test all sorts of headsets around here. And I'm a little aggressive as far as testing the headsets before it even goes into customers' hands. So I'll pull on headsets, I'll you know lift the, the microphone boom down, I'll, I'll kind of yank it like you're not supposed to do just to test how well this stuff holds up. Now, what I've found is that the Poly is very, very solid. It just, everything clicks into place. It's very well designed. It's going to hold up. However, we don't know yet with customer experience as it's so new to the market. So we give this a nine durability rating, but my feeling is that it's gonna be updated to a 10 once we have some more customer feedback. We haven't had any complaints as of yet, but it's only been out for a month. So to be determined on that. Now, Job Revolve 75 has been out for quite some time, and we have not seen uh, many defects in regards to this headset at all. So durability is 10. Everything is just solid on this headset. It um, has built very well and gets a 10 on the rating of durability. All right, so the overall score for Jabra was 74.5. Now the overall score for Poly was 80. And the reason is simple. They're both identical pretty much as far as functionality. They both connect to the computer and your mobile phones via Bluetooth and with the included USB dongle. And they're both major manufacturers in the industry. Jabra and Poly are the two majors in the industry and they're compatible with most uh, software applications, Microsoft Teams, Ring Central, Zoom, Cisco, all of those type, and they're going to work seamlessly with those platforms. So from that standpoint, as far as compatibility, they're about the same. But uh, Evolve 75 has been out on the market for some, quite some time. It utilizes, you know, Bluetooth 4.2 
instead of Bluetooth 5.1 on the Poly. So you have a little bit newer technology on the Poly and I think you get uh, for the money, so it's about the same money, you get a little bit longer wireless range with Poly, a little bit better audio and a little bit better microphone. So if you're uh, kind of tossing up in the air, which one's better for you, I would edge to the Poly. However, both of them are really solid and I will say Evolve 2 series has already come out for the 65 and the 85 on the jobber side. So they're probably gonna release an update version of this and I will bring that to you as soon as we can, as soon as it comes out, if it ever comes out. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on that video in the future. And of course, hit that thumbs up button if this video is helpful to you at all. All right, so ultimately it's up to you, but make sure you use coupon code JABRA for the JABRA and coupon code YouTube for the Poly headset. That's gonna get you the best discount possible. We would greatly appreciate the support. Other than that, I hope you have a fantastic day and i think you might like this video if you're interested in the poly i did a review video of the poly one versus the poly two so check it out over here and also consider hitting that subscribe button for the latest reviews and comparisons of your headsets speaker phones and webcams for your business thanks a lot for tuning in we'll see you next time